All right, the highlights from Monday. Now, I, I made a miscalculation today. I, I didn't think today would be um, kind of worth hanging out in the afternoon, and there were some nice reversals. Stocks that uh, were pushing new loads ended up pushing to new highs for the day. Um, but I kind of gone into the day telling everybody, hey, uh, you know, we're trading on a bank, U.S. bank holiday, and so I expect light volume. If we're going to catch a trade, let's catch it in the first couple hours and uh, get some errands done in the afternoon. So that was my mentality. But in hindsight, I think there were probably some, some nice trades that I could have hung around for. Volume was pretty light today. So um, anyway, I had uh, one really good trade that made my day. I, I could go a couple days without trading as much as, uh, as much as I made on First Solar. It was a nice trade here. Um, now this is the daily chart on it, okay? Um, it looks like it's coiling. It's nicely above the 200 day now, and it might just rip one of these days. I know nobody expects a stock like First Solar to rip, but the chart is looking handsome. And I, I've been watching this for several days now, um, because well, actually for a few weeks now, because this is so coiled, and you might get a big breakout one of these days. All right, now having said that, let me show you how I called it in the chat room today. Okay, zoomed in here, we're switching to five minute candles. And it looked just like this when I called or projected it. And uh, you kind of had this little very narrow, tight range. Um, what did I like about it? The fact that, again, I love the daily chart. Um, it had nice volume and a nice move on Friday. So here was the early high of the day. Friday's high, not to the, not, um, to the left here, not very far away. So if we do get a high of day break, okay, um, there's a good chance we take out Friday's high and then more people pile in, all right? Um, let me switch to... Well, let me just pan out real quick here. And then you can go back and see that it even had a, a spike even higher up to 25, whatever it was, 25, 60 something um, in the middle of last week. I guess this would have been uh, last Wednesday. So there's another catalyst. We have what we call stacked catalysts, okay? Recent highs, right? Con series of lower recent highs that if broken, take out the high of the day, you might knock down this one, you might knock down this one and maybe break out today. So that's, that's the thinking on First Solar. It's been acting very, very well lately. So my long ID, and I typed it out, put it in the uh, announcement alert so everyone could see it, and I had the projector going to show it to everybody. Um, 2514 if it gets there, and the worst case stop, 2489, okay? So basically, high of day break, 2514, worst case stop right about there. And there it trails along for a little bit, and then boom, we got our breakout. And look at that, I mean, almost all the way to 26. Uh, sold some into the first spike, sold some into the second spike, and I was all out about 100 shares, and I got stopped out on my last 100 um, flat. So anyway, uh, very, very nice trade. And I don't know what the percentage game was, but it didn't take very long. And uh, I was pretty happy after that and said, you know what, guys, I'm not going to try to trade this afternoon. So there's where I miscalculated because I think there were some nice turns. I did want to give some, uh, some credit to one of our members in chat. Robert H.A. is his chat room name. And in the pre-market... I had shown Akamai, AKAM. I'll show it to you here. All right, this is the daily chart of Akamai, AKAM. Every morning before the market opens, I go over some chart ideas um, with the projector for the chat room members. So, AKAM looked like this Sunday night when I found it. Um, and so I shared this with the members that I liked it, okay? Uh, it had nice support at 36 here. Used to be resistance here. Um, if I go back farther, you can probably see some more. Not that relevant when you go back this far, but it did have a relationship to the 36 area back here. But more importantly was resistance here, then became support, and had fallen already three days to get down to this area. So in pre-market, I showed everybody this chart and said that uh, I like Akamai, AKAM, if it gets down near 36 today. Now, I was busy doing something else when it set up, but I'll show you what it looked like when uh, Robert H.A., posted this ID in chat. I just didn't see it, but his post um, around 11 o'clock, now 11.11 actually, um, this morning, it looked like this. Uh, his idea was around 36.09 with a low of day stop. And I mean, it had that, that uh, it was getting close to 36, okay? And then it had that five minute push down on volume, you know, you're already grinding down a little blip, and then you have that shape where it's almost straight stair steps down, and we know we like it near 36. So that was my thinking in pre-market, and Robert H.A. Um, called it right, basically right there, over this green candle. And uh, look at that, ends up getting through the high of the day and goes uh, almost to 36.80. So his idea was 36.09, um, basically somewhere on this green candle, and the stop, 36.02. I mean, within seven cents of the bottom, um, what a great, great call. So I wanted to give, 
I have in my notes, make sure you give uh, Robert H.A. credit because um, he took the idea that I put forth in chat uh, in the pre-market and put it to use using methods that we teach on a very low risk setup. Unfortunately, I didn't see his post um, or I would have been all over that too because I liked Akamai uh, doing my prep work this weekend. I knew I liked it near 36. So um, a beautiful move. Again, uh, maybe 70 something cents on seven cents risk. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, um, oh, SRPT. I called, I didn't call, I showed it to everybody when it looked like this. All right, the daily chart on this one is starting to really turn back up and you had beautiful volume this morning and I pointed out this flag, okay? I, I typed in chat, SRPT flag. Then I watched it trade for a bit and um, it literally had 20 cent spreads between the bid and the ask and I told everybody that. I said, this is extremely dangerous to trade these because it's, you know, if you were to buy it at the market and then try to sell it at the market, you lose a quick 20 cents. Um, and that's why these big spreads are tough. But uh, the only reason it's even in the video is because it looked like this and I pointed out the flag to people and the volume and said the daily chart looks really good, but it's a very tough trader. And I wouldn't even have this in the video, but I got some thank yous later from people that went ahead and took it when it broke the high of the day here, um, which was probably around 2440. And look what happens. It ends up uh, going up three bucks from there and even pretty quickly up uh, almost a buck from there. So I didn't trade this, but I, you know, I guess I was sort of um, instrumental in some people making money off of it um, and, you know and that is a very very nice move uh, let's see and I think that was it the I had one um, SMS pick today and uh, again I'm kind of in an SMS slump if you will but I'll show you the call and uh, the reason why okay it was Calpine CPN um, it met our shape parameters where it's just grinding lower, grinding, and then starting to get that almost straight down shape, decent volume. Um, now I wouldn't just take it on that, but I wanna show you the other reasons I called it. Um, okay, so now it's near 17. I called it at 17.05, by the way. Um, it's near 17, now look at the daily. Um, it had fallen pretty far. Remember, it had intraday shape. So it's getting ahead of itself to the downside on an intraday basis. I don't want to give out these SMS calls and then not explain why I, I called it where I did. So that's what uh, these wrap-up videos are for. Um, you also had nice bounces off 17 back here. It was resistance back here. You had a nice base around 17 here. Um, and right here you have the 200 day. So there's a lot of reasons why this could bounce at 17 coupled with the intraday shape here. Okay, I called it at 17. Remember we have wider stops on these because I'm sending out a text and people are at work and they get it and they're, uh, they're told to trade these small and they're designed to take the trade a wider stop, small shares and hopefully by the end of the day we'll be up nicely or sometime after the call we'll be up nicely where we can uh, take a nice profit. Um, and we've done that pretty consistently but the last, uh, last few days haven't been so pretty. But anyway, uh, this one, 17.05 and the highest it got was literally I think right there, um, 17.12. It bounced, came back up again and then ended up down about a dime from the call. So um, again, I never pick really crazy stocks on these where uh, you could lose a quick dollar, uh, which you know our stop isn't that wide, but I never pick crazy stocks. I try to pick stocks that, uh, that won't, um, you know, that aren't really volatile. So some days we're gonna have nice gains. Hopefully all the losses that we have in this one, um, if you're trading them small, which you should be, that's the instructions. Hopefully all the losses will be negligible um, because I'm calling these when they're already down significantly on an intraday basis and um, and at some kind of support as well. Okay, um, you know we've had uh, I can uh, bring over the results page. Okay, here's the results page from our SMS again. It's a new service just started on October 23rd and uh, we were doing really well and then we had those two big post election day sell offs. Um, you can see the uh, the results here, the maximum profit on just 300 shares if you look at this column, um, which means that it, the highest it went at that day after the call. Uh, we were doing really well down here. Uh, we even had a 255 maximum profit on 300 shares. So we had some nice ones. We've only had a few get stopped out. There's one, there's one, and there's one. But the last few days, um, you can see the maximum profit on 300 shares, not great. And uh, if you sold them, this column is simply if you were, uh, you know, you wanted to really simplify the strategy and just sell them right before the close, this column, the last few days, we've had stocks close, uh, including this one, underneath where we, uh, where we called them. So, but overall, we've even had pretty good success on these. But uh, back to, whoops, that's not what I wanted. 
there we go back to the chart um sorry the spy real quick and then i'm gonna get out of here you had a, a big two-day sell-off and then this day i go i went ahead and just skipped calls and then i didn't make any calls this day i wanted to get more information from the market so we had two losing days i skipped a day and then today was just um very lackluster as far as sms goes chat room uh we've been making a killing we're doing great in there but anyway um today was just a, a bank holiday narrow low volume day so I, again i was on the fence about whether to call anything but cpn certainly shouldn't have hurt anybody it's just uh, another day where i didn't have a nice gainer and uh, that's always a little bit embarrassing but uh you know we'll get back on track with the sms and i think we'll have some nice calls coming up um ultimately the best way to use our service is to be a chat room member because it's much easier to micromanage trades when you're in the live chat room versus getting a text um, on an entry idea from work. Make sense? All right, I've babbled way too long. We'll talk to you guys later.